Hey everyone, welcome back to your 90 Days to Home Ownership Challenge. We are on week 11 this week. I'm your host, Tampa Realtor, Lauren Gavin. So last week we dove into what an inspection is, what it covers, and what it could cost you. This week we're going to talk about a few more things that are happening behind the scenes during that process between contract to close. I mentioned before that your lender is probably going to be asking for a few last items from you to make sure that your loan is conditionally approved before it's sent to what we call underwriting. So underwriting is a process where that loan goes to a secondary party who reviews everything to make sure that you are indeed a good candidate for the loan. What we're looking for during that process is for the underwriter to say, yep, yeah, everything looks great, and to come back and give us what we call the clear to close, which is an agent's favorite word. There's also a couple more things that are going to be happening during this time. So your lender is going to order what's called an appraisal. So an appraisal is an independent party, usually a certified appraiser's idea of the value of your home. If you are using a loan to purchase a home, that appraisal needs to be at least what you are under contract to pay for that home. Your lender is not going to lend you money for a home that's worth less than what you're borrowing. So ideally you want that appraisal to come back at or above what you're under contract for. Now, if it doesn't, there's a few ways around this. We'll talk about that in another video, but just know that appraisal is also an important part of that process. Most lenders will also ask for what's called a survey. A survey is basically the geographical boundaries and those things pertaining to the property itself. Usually I ask the seller on behalf of my buyer if they have a recent survey if not, it may need to be ordered by the lender. And that will be a cost to you as well, but it is something that the lender has to have in order to make the loan of root. One more item that's gonna happen is something called a title search. So the title company is going to research the title, so all the people that have owned the property through its history. Obviously, it's gonna depend on how old the property is, how many possible owners that could be but they're gonna make sure that there's no issues with the title. So they're gonna make sure that every time that property has sold or changed ownership, that everything was done correctly. So it's their job to make sure that gets done. That's something that they'll handle. You won't really have to be involved in that, but they will let you know what those results are after the title search is completed. All right, so that's just a few things that are happening during that closing process. So next week, we're gonna talk about what happens on closing day, the most exciting day, right? I will see you guys back here next week. Once again, my name is Lauren Gavin, Tampa Realtor, and this is 90 Days to Home Ownership.